So, people have asked me how I stayed thin. Well, let me tell you guys first that those people who, are pro who have been asking me how I stayed thin, whether in YouTube or in Form Spring, probably has seen my older video, which was a year or two years ago, or a year or more than a year, because I, I don't think I've been on YouTube for two years. But anyways, those people probably seen um, my older videos, which was um, the videos where I was skinnier than I am right now. As you can see, I am huge now. I gained a lot of weight, probably because I actually stopped working out like zero workout nothing not at all like very very lazy whenever I hear about um, advices that I should work out or something like that I mean on the internet when I whenever I search it, how to lose 10 pounds and then they're gonna be like oh the only magic is that um, work out but I'm so tired of doing that I have been working out I mean I used to uh, work out every single day and yeah every single day can you believe that that's probably one thing how I stayed thin before second is I lo I mean I, I love chips and chocolate but I tried to avoid them but then occasionally I still eat them because I'm really one of the most addicted ones to chips and chocolate so I love chips and chocolates and then the third, I think, would be drinking a lot of green tea. I probably drink green tea before, when I was skinnier, probably five cups a day, I think. Now I'm, I'm drinking green tea because I want to get back to that, um, to the older body that I have I was skinnier. So, before I lost... Okay, my normal weight, let me tell you, since I'm really tall, um, I'm 5'7", and um, my normal weight is 140. I know that sounds really, really big. I, I wasn't going to tell you guys my weight, but, you know, I, people have been asking me how I stayed thin, so might as well add this information. So, I was, I'm normally 140. That's, norm, my, that's my normal weight, and I'm normal. My body is normal when I'm 140. But... I wasn't this, I was, like, think that was last two years, I wasn't, I went, I mean, I had a deal with, like, different people saying, oh, if we lost, um, 10 pounds in, like, three weeks, we're going to, I mean, if we didn't lose 10 pounds in three weeks, we're going to punish ourselves, or we're going to give punishments to each others, and... Um, my friends, my cousins, I deal with them a lot of times when I was like in grade 10 or before grade 11. So, I think that's another reason, I mean another way that I lost weight because I was in a deal and I was afraid of the punishments and stuff. So I worked hard, I really watched what I'm eating and so it was worth it though but let me tell you, the faster you lose weight, the faster you gain it back. That's just how easy it is. So, if you want to maintain, unless you're like a good, um, good one and controlling, you know, it, you can't really, if, like, if you love junk, junk foods, you, you can't prevent that if you really love it. But if you have the control that you really want something and you, I mean, you really want something permanently, you're going to... Um, stick with that and ha you it's just that you need that control self-control you know so I hope you guys if, I hope that makes sense but anyways so yeah I had a deal I lost about 10 pounds in three weeks I think that was possible but you have to work hard it's possible to lose 10 pounds in less than three weeks actually I lost 10 pounds in three weeks I was 140 then I went to 131 or something so I was really re well not really skinny but people have been telling me you don't look good that skinny so I was like what I like how skinny I am right now but they're not, but they're like I want more um, fat in you so 
I don't know. I wasn't listening to them, but then uh, eventually I gained weight and stopped working out. So yeah, by the way, I lost weight for exercising every single day and losing thousand calories a day. Believe it or not, it's possible. I was working in, I mean, my, my previous um, job, the one that I already quit, I told my co-worker that I um, burn a thousand calories a day and he's like, that's not possible, how are you going to lose a thousand calories a day if you need um, calorie intake, calorie intake about for about like 2,000 or something. And I'm like, well, it's possible because I did it and I do it every single day. So he didn't believe me and you guys probably may not believe me because I don't have a proof or something. But let me tell you, I'm telling the truth. I did that for a week. Only a week though. I, I didn't do that more than a week because I was dying. But then I liked it. Like the feeling of it after you did the workout, it feels really good. Because you feel like you're skinnier and you're doing your job and whatever you're doing it has a purpose so well I don't know I think I was younger that's why I really wanted to lose weight so um, but now I, I still do though <laughs> since I gained a lot of weight I'm not 140 anymore my nor which is my normal weight when I was 140 I wanted to lose weight now I gained weight more than 140 so I want to lose this weight that I gained so much. I think I gained about six pounds or seven. But I'm on my way. Hopefully I will get to that goal. Um so I think I've been I have answered all of the questions. Um also another way that helped me lose weight before is that um I did a lot of research. Trust me, even though you guys don't think it's helpful I, it kind of helped me a bit because it kind of helped me control and think about it. It, it. it gave me ideas what to think about and therefore it gave me more self-control, I think. And it also gave me ideas of what to eat like in the morning. You only eat like one slice of, half slice of breakfast with um, one teaspoon of like jam or butter or something. Not butter. I forgot, I forgot, I don't remember. And then instead of eating, I mean, don't eat carbs. Well, I don't remember actually. Never mind that. Never mind what I just said. I don't remember what I used to do, what I used to eat. But do, do your own research, guys. And it will probably help you if you're really in um, in need of to lose weight. So um, that's what I would say how I stayed thin for... Um, I think three years I stayed thin. I maintained my 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 body in good shape. A lot of people have been. I mean, a lot of people that I know of in person uh, tell me that how I, I mean ask keep keep asking me question how I stay. Um, yeah, thin and well, not thin. I'm not thin. Like I wasn't skinny. I was normal. But anyways, yeah. A lot of people have been asking me how I keep my belly flat. Yeah, my belly used to be so flat before. Not anymore. You guys want to see it? I don't know if I should show you guys. Let me think. Because you girls probably might hate me if I did. Or you might puke or something. Okay, let me show you. It's just something. I mean, I don't know. can see how short it is. Well, this is how um, my belly looks right now. This, okay, this is the normal. See? See that bump? I didn't have that before. There's a bump now. And, okay. See this? See this um, fat here? I didn't have that before as well. And this? It was like flat here. So 
Um, so that's why a lot of people have been asking me um, how I stayed fit. So I hope this answered questions. And I hope this answered all of you guys who, you know, saw my last, my older videos when I was skinnier. That's probably why you're asking me right now. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to edit this video even though I talk way too much. Uh, I know you guys hate that. But, I don't know. I'm actually supposed to be doing homework, but I just can't continue and just writing. Okay, my boyfriend's calling. Um, I hope you guys have, have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.